Yo, what is going on everybody? TG here. Another brutal day in the market where everything gets sold off big, including and especially the NASDAQ down over 2.83% today. But there was one silver lining in all this for you Wall Street betters. GameStop up another 42% today. And why you may ask? Well, the Chewy founder is really amping up their e-commerce and taking a big step forward. And I think this is one of the biggest things that's sparking this giant surge that we've seen. And it's actually been about two surges over two days. We saw a big pop last week as well, when it went from about $97 to about 140, and then another one today, bringing it up to just about $200 <clears throat> a share. So as we all know, Ryan Cohen is going to um, lead the shift e-commerce for GameStop. Ryan Cohen, obviously um, Chewy's co-founder, that's the uh, digital dog food and toy supply company that has actually done really, really well this year. Um, he's also going to serve as chairman on the new committee created by the board. And, you know, people look at this and they see, you know, GameStop can possibly go higher and, you know, they're putting their money into it. And it could be a mixture of a, a bit of a short squeeze a mixture of new investors who want to get in on it. And it could also be, um, you know, just an anticipation of something big. But obviously right now, GameStop's market cap jumped up big. It's about $15 billion now. Um, I don't know if this is updated in real time, but if not, it's obviously a lot more than that. But, you know, it, it's, it's, a very high, um, it's a very high market cap right now. And um, you're going to have to just be careful because, yeah, the company is um, 14.2 billion dollars um so that's obviously a giant market cap for a company that i mean financially speaking is not doing too well but you, you have the interest of the short squeeze you have the um obviously the the reddit craze behind it you know you can get a you can get some big swings and last earnings was not so good the company brought in exactly one billion in revenue but lost 18 million net income um so not a great quarter, and that sent the stock down plunging initially when those numbers pop. But they're going to be reporting earnings pretty soon as well. Um, so definitely going to have to watch out for that because that could determine um, if this company goes higher or if this might be the catalyst that drops the company back to, you know, under where people think it's going to be. But the company was above 200 at one point, um, sold off a little bit. But, I mean, it's just an incredible run that it's had today um, from, you know, almost over a 50% run intraday finishing the day up 42%, obviously fueled by Reddit and Wall Street bets. And then obviously this new catalyst of Ryan Cohen being the one who's going to take it as an e-commerce play. So, you know, we'll have to see what happens, see really what, what goes on with this. But it's definitely, you know, things are happening and they're moving because of news, not just out of spec. And, you know, people are expecting that this is going to make GameStop the next uh, next big e-commerce play. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens with that. But I mean, again, you know, you look in the actual market itself and, you know, NASDAQ just continues to get hit over and over and over again. Um, it, it's down now, um, you know, over 10.5% from where it was just less than a month ago. So that's a giant correction. And, you know, other companies are following this as well. You have ARC down just a huge amount as well. I believe that is down even more. Um, you know, in the past month, it's down 28%. Um, but some of the other meme stocks as well um, rose again big today. Um, kind of following in GameStop's footsteps, AMC up a nice 15.5%. Um, and a lot of people believe that with the reopening phase and people going out to movie theaters, AMC will thrive. AMC's market cap very low, still only $3.1 billion. Um, but obviously, they are in a different boat. They're really struggling financially <clears throat> after last earnings quarter. Revenue of only 119 million, but net income negative 905. So definitely got to be careful with AMC. Um, but that's obviously because everything was closed down, and you know there are some bullish arguments for AMC. So you have to obviously look for that. Uh, BlackBerry, not too much happened with that today, up three percent. Um, but obviously it's just it's mainly just GameStop. That that company is just or stock has just been absolutely flying. And uh, I'd love to see what actually goes on, um, if it actually is going to break that $250 mark and uh, you know move higher. 
Uh, I don't know personally if it will. I'm not going to go ahead and say that it will or not because I don't think anyone knows really about what GameStop is going to do. It kind of just does what it wants to do. Um, it doesn't follow the markets. It doesn't follow the indexes. It just does its own thing. But, you know, for you guys that are up big on GameStop, I think now would probably be a good time maybe take profits and put them into something like, you know, Apple that is, you know, just getting its absolute butt kicked recently. Um, you look at Apple in the last six months and it's – you know, compared to GameStop, it's it's hard when you compare it to GameStop, but um, the stock's down a lot. Uh, all big tech's been sold off because of these stupid interest rates, um, which I think is a, just a very overreaction. But, you know, overall with GameStop, watch it closely. There's going to be a lot of talk today on Wall Street Bets about it. Um, a lot of big gains we're going to be seeing uh, from a lot of investors in GameStop. And I wonder who's actually going to be selling. Um, so... Like I said, we'll see what happens, but you know, deep value still in it. Deep value is up to forty million dollars again. Um, not selling anything, so he's up big. But yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens, guys. Definitely watch it closely. Watch the indexes as well. QQQ might drop under three hundred, which you know could be pretty bad. Another thing to watch for is GameStop earnings. It's announcement for March twenty fifth, so that's pretty soon. We're at March eighth right now, so in about two weeks, they're gonna be reporting earnings, and um, you know, there's a lot of eyes on this earnings to see if these console sales were bigger than people expected if the you know with the reopening of GameStop is one of those stores where people are going to and you know pouring their money into because obviously gaming is going nowhere gaming is only getting bigger and bigger but it's about if you know GameStop is taking that market share or if other companies like um, Amazon, Walmart, Target, uh, Best Buy some of these other uh, companies are taking more of the market share from GameStop now, obviously, GameStop has a lot of brick and mortar stores. That's a lot of um, that's a lot of overhead. You know, they have to pay for all those stores, pay for all those employees, and it definitely cuts into their profits a lot. So, I think that this um, initiative to move towards the e-commerce um, side of things is definitely a smart move. It should have been done a long time ago. Um, so, um, it's going to be interesting, like I said, to see what happens with this and see if um, you know these earnings are good. And what's going to be said on that conference call? Because the conference call is going to be huge. You know, when people talk about what actually gets said and what announcements happen, it comes in the conference call. And if they talk about, you know, a bigger emphasis on this e-commerce, shutting down some of the brick and mortar stores, you know, you're probably going to see potentially a big pop unless that is what's already factored into this giant rally that we've had in GameStop today um, that left the company up over 42%, like I said. So, um, something to watch out for, something to look for, and you know, definitely watch this because obviously it's it's definitely overbought on the charts. If you look at RSI and stuff like that, it's you know it's up an insane amount um, for the one month and especially the one day. Um, but you know, watch it closely because the RSI on the three month is now approaching or is, is at ninety RSI, so that's obviously a lot. Um, so just be careful with that because obviously that's a pretty big um, <laughs> RSI number. So just watch the chart closely. Uh, if you're up, I you know recommend taking some profits. You don't want to be left bag holding and end up losing a lot of money when you're up big, like we saw in the last Wall Street Bets video. Um, so watch it closely and really prepare. But you know, congrats to the guys who held. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe because it means a ton to me. So enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the gains, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take it easy, guys. Bye.